Hello and welcome everyone to a Northwest Clean Air Agency video. My name is Evan Bing and I'm the Ambient Air Quality Monitoring Manager at the agency. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Purple Air Map, where I'll show you some changes and adjustments that should be made before we can properly compare data from these low-cost sensors with data from our traditional air quality monitors. Okay, once you have the Purple Air Map opened up, you should see a view similar to the one on my screen here. And we're just going to make a few changes to the uh, data that's currently on the map so that we can better compare it with uh, air quality data from our regulatory monitors. And so to do that, we just need to make a few changes. And we make those changes by navigating to this box in the upper left corner and clicking. And that will expand it so we have a, a number of options here. And the first change we want to make is to this uh, element here which is called a conversion factor and so we want to change that from no to L Rappa. and the reason we want to do this is because uh, low-cost sensors when compared with traditional air quality monitors um, have been shown to dramatically overestimate air quality concentrations and so a number of conversion factors or correction factors have been developed through rigorous scientific studies uh, that we can use to better bring data from these low-cost sensors in line with the data from regulatory monitors. And if you want to learn more about each of those uh, conversion factors, you can uh, hover over this eye icon here, and you can read more about each of the different factors that were developed. And these are kind of outside the scope of this video, but um, we do want to make sure that we have the l uh, uh, conversion factor selected. And then the only other uh, change that we need to make is to this averaging period. So by default, it's set to 10 minutes, and we want to change that to one hour, since that's what uh, our regulatory monitors use, is the one hour uh, time average. So now that we've made these changes, we are in a better position to make uh, comparisons between the low-cost sensor data with data from our traditional monitors. All right, well, that wraps up this short tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more Northwest Clean Air Agency videos.